if you look at number two here, they say y should be the subject again. Okay? Y should be the subject, and then you know we're differentiating in terms of what of of x. Now, these are some of the things that are bundled inside your rule. For us to be able to use rule number two, which is the power rule, we first have to remove these brackets by applying whatever we learn in grade 10, which was to four. Okay? Yes, we're going to find a product of this thing here. Now, this is very key here. When you find, you are not differentiating. So it's still y. y is going to be equal to. We are getting this thing ready so that it can be differentiated. Do you know what we can differentiate? We can differentiate something that has 2x something if we're differentiating in terms of x. Now, this one here, because it has brackets, what we first have to do is to say, okay, this one multiplied by this one, okay? Yeah. And then if you say that one multiplied by this one, what you're going to get? So that one is not differentiating. You're still doing everything that you have learned in earlier grade. So what are you going to have? You're going to have y, which is going to be equaling to this multiplied by this one, you say you get 2x squared, okay? Now, this one multiplied by this one, minus 6x. Uh, one multiplied by x, plus x. This one multiplied by this one, minus 3. Ne? Are there any like terms here? What are the like terms? So you're going to have 2x squared, okay? Minus 5 x plus three now minus three. minus three now this thing here is ready to be differentiated then once you are here now you can differentiate it no? now when you differentiate it's no longer y you see this one what did i do here i said this one is y this one i just said it equal sign to say this and this are exactly the same but now when i differentiate this is what i have to do now i need to tell them but you are no longer talking about the same thing you're talking about the y all over what all over the x and then i'm going to apply the power rule then what does the power rule say then? It says which I am going to have this exponent. So what is the exponent here of x? It's 2. What is the exponent of x? Oh, let's do it here. The exponent of x is 2. Okay? What is the exponent of x here? This one here, it doesn't have x. Okay? So this one, it's a constant. Okay, sharp. So what are we going to have? We're going to have 2 multiplied by this part, this whole thing. Okay? So you have 2x, 2 minus 1. I get Yes. And then you have, after that, you have one. So we have minus five X multiplied by one. But let's do it this way. Then. So we're going to have plus one. One is this one again. Okay? Multiply by minus five x yeah? yes. and then plus z and then what are we going to have no. so this one multiplied by this one what do you get for x okay and then if you say this one multiplied by this one what are you going to get minus five again okay? and then here we had one minus one yeah. and then we don't have to write the zero anymore and then this is going to be our final answer so if we're to uh, if this was in an examination, what were you going to do? You're going to get a mark for expanding. They want to check, which do you still remember how to expand? And then they're going to give you one mark for differentiating 2x squared. They're going to give you a mark for differentiating this one. Yeah? And then we are done with number two.